Good morning, everyone. This is Mary Ann with Akashic Inspirations, and today is Wednesday, October 3rd, 2012. And today's um, information or today's reading comes from the Sacred Geometry of Janosh, Wisdom of the Hidden Realms by Colette Baron Reed, and the Ascended Masters with Doreen Virtue. So today is actually day 32 of my gratitude. I've been on a 42-day journey, and today is day 32, and such wonderful, marvelous things have happened in 32 days. And part of that um, was the response that I got from the free readings. So I, I want you to um, understand that I'm doing, I'm, I'm starting to feel like really anxious because I haven't gotten to all of them like I would want to, but I'm doing the best. And when you go into the records, it's, um, you know, it takes a lot of energy, so um, you kind of have to energize between readings and so on. And I know a lot of you understand this because you do readings yourself and it could be, you know, quite draining. So I, I promise that I am getting to everyone as quickly as I can. And I will do all of the ones that I have been requested and that I've confirmed. And, um, so please bear with me, be a little patient. And, um, I know you're all anxious to get your readings. So I just want to make sure that the readings are, uh, unhurried and um, true to true to you, and um, and um, that that it really resonates with you. So uh, I definitely I you know want to take my time with each and every one of you, so I can understand. You can understand that if I put that attention into one, I need to put it into all the rest. Okay. So and there's many creative things and, and ideas that I have that are that are in the works. So I'm really excited. This is a really expanding time for me. And um, one of the things I wanted to focus on today was um, this idea of we're working with our heart, right? Yesterday we were uh, being in silence. And today I think is about um, making that decision as to what, what it is, how, what type of response did you get from being in silence? And what decisions are you going to make based on what came to you? What choices are you going to make? So um, today we're going to work with um, three different cards. Um, well, I've got also my three um, crystals. I've got satellite, turquoise, and clear crystals. So you can also pick one of those as your personal reading and see what, um, ident what you identify with the most. All right, and uh, so we'll start now. And the first card is going to come from the Sacred Geometry deck by Janosh. And this is like super wonderful. Look, it's got like electricity coming from the center, radiating. And these are all our choices, you know. These are these are everything that we can expand to. And it's a two-way street, you know. It goes out and the information looks like it's coming in, right. So um, this is the silver code for it. And this card is called openness. So openness. So what are being in silence, and this is the satellite that... Um, combines with that card. And so Janosh in his book says, openness. The energy of openness helps you take an honest look at yourself. Quite often we have all sorts of saboteurs working against us at a subconscious level, thus preventing us from feeling what truly occupies us. This energy helps us recognize this and experience ourselves at a deeper level. So I think that once we yesterday that we went into the silence now now the 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 work is to to figure out everything that's come in and to figure out what is serving us and what is not and going with the action of what what we can do to make ourselves better and and be on our true path the next card is from the wisdom of the hidden realms and it's linked up with the turquoise and this is actually called the dragon's duel Inner conflict, uh, morality, conscious choice, okay? So conscious choice. What are you choosing to create? What have you found that you need to have inside yourself? And, and you know, what, what are you going to do about it? The dragon's duel. The dragon's duel take place at a proverbial fork in the road. It's both ally and challenger at once, as it represents the tension of opposites. Even though the truth is we live in unity, we experience the duality of faith and doubt, 
love and fear, right and wrong, black and white. This aspect of your current experience asks you to accept that although you may be going one way, another may call you to change direction. Now is the time to inquire whether it's your ego or your soul leading you. There are always choices in life. Decision making, making also solves inner conflict. If you're torn between two dragons, the one that you choose to feed will be the one that wins. Which is it? If it's not the one that serves the highest of your intentions, deliberately feed the other and the duel will be won in your favor. So here it's telling you, make those choices. Make those choices for your higher good. What is it that's going to serve you in your life's purpose? Right? And, um, and um, you know, you've gone inside. Now, now it's time to make the choice. Now it's time to work. Uh, now we go on to the clear crystal. Crystal, sorry. And uh, this is the Ascended Masters card. And uh, who comes out is El Moira. Clear and shield your energy. All right. So daily we go through this process of being maybe in an upper um, attitude, but we come into contact with, of course, people who are not in our vibration. And um, it says, as a sensitive person, you've absorbed some harsh and toxic energy from other people. This card asks you to stop and call an El Moira and Archangel Michael to clear yourself. They can also clear and elevate the energies and other people your home and your office and I'm really getting the message today that this applies to your space okay this really applies to where, where do you work where, where are you the most at are you in your office at home um, you know your desk at home doing readings doing work um, um, you know make that space uh, clear it uh, take some sage you know some white sage and burn do your incense make your candles you know just clarify your space so that your mind also is clear and protected. This process, called shielding, needs to be conducted once or twice a day. You can also wear a crystal pendant to act as a buffer in harsh energy situations. Ask Archangel Michael to cut cords of fearful attachments between you and other people or possessions. Stay clear of harsh or to toxic substances, environments, and relationships. Honor your sensitivity. Keep your thoughts as positive as possible to keep your energy clear and clean. Eliminate clutter or use feng shui to, to clear the energy in your home or office. So that's why I'm saying I think it really pertains to our, our space around us and where we choose to, to spend our day and how we're working. Um, that shielding ourselves and doing some feng shui, you know, clearing up the clutter. That's going to that's gonna really help. And again, this is a conscious choice. This goes back to this whole theme of today is what is it that you're going to decide that you're going to do? Um, what is it that your inner self has told you is the right path for you? So I wish you many blessings on this day. Again, I think everyone who has Facebooked me, who has emailed me, who inboxed me through YouTube. And now I have my Twitter account up and running. Uh, you can check my Facebook. It's called um, Akashic Inspire. So please follow me on Twitter as well. And um, send me yours so I can follow you. Um, we all learn from each other. And this is a process of sharing. So that's this is why I do this. Because I think it's really important to give out that which I have to, to, to give to others. And I also want to receive and your knowledge and your information. Because this sharing is what builds us in oneness and makes us greater. So I wish you many blessings today. Light and love. Namaste.